Historically, black colleges and universities around the country are known for producing some of the best talent to come through the college ranks and on to the National Football League. What many may not know is the fact that those talented student athletes were coached by legendary coaches who not only changed their lives, but helped change the landscape of college football. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference is proud to document and showcase some of these football coaching legends, including today's feature on a man whose career spanned over 40 years, all at four colleges and universities in the state of Virginia. He coached his teams to five consecutive appearances in the NCAA Division II playoffs. His name is Willard Bailey. I'm one of the few coaches, I guess you could say, that for some reason I always wanted to teach two or three classes during the time I was athletic director and football coach. And so I guess you could say my thing revolved around education and I was very competitive from my high school having played football, basketball, and baseball. So I always wanted to win. I wanted to win badly, but I always felt compelled never to divorce myself from education. Everybody can understand why I think so much of the team that could have been national champions. And they certainly would understand how much it meant to me and the Virginia Union family throughout the country, how much it meant to us, all of us, to win the first football championship in 50 years. That was big. That man, the winningest coach in CIAA football history at over 200 wins, and, and coming in here today, if he wins the day, there's really eight CIAA football championships. This is your 31st year as a head football coach in Division II. Where do you get your motivation? Oh, from the young men. You spread myself around the young players, and I become a little energetic. Because sometimes I think I'm fooling myself, but uh, it's working so far. <laughs> When you can make an impression on your kids, your immediate sons plus the adaptive sons on your teams, and you can keep them under the banner of our Lord and Savior, and also you can see these guys adapt education as the key to the realization of the good life. And you see them practice that when you walk into their meetings and they are saying so many of the things that you said to them for four years, you gotta feel good about that. I wanna be a person to be remembered as God favoring me to allow me to take something I really enjoyed doing, coaching football. <laughs>